Under normal circumstances, this would be just super. However, Big Mom arrived to put a halt to Brooke's actions, which resulted in Brooke engaging in one-on-one -on -one combat with an Emperor of the Sea, and then promptly getting destroyed and becoming captured himself. More good news, though, because Luffy and Nami would go on to be freed by Jinbei, a very, very welcome sight to these two straw hats, but stubborn Luffy, being stubborn, decided to head back to the spot where he told Sanji he would wait and not eat, whilst Nami and Jinbei joined Chopper and Carrot in the Mirror World, where they ultimately freed Brooke thanks to using Brulee's mirror powers to find him. And furthermore, after rejoining the crew, Brooke opened up his usually empty skull and revealed that he had managed to take rubbings of all three pomeglyphs, thus submitting Brooke as a supreme candidate for MVP of Whole Cake Island. Cutting back to Sanji now, though, things aren't exactly looking up for him, as just as he had accepted his fate of marrying Pudding, he just so happens to discover that she is in fact evil and spearheading a plot to murder Sanji, as well as the rest of the Vinsmoke family, at their own wedding ceremony, no less. And the reasoning is so that Big Mom can take control of all of the advanced technology of the German Kingdom, which is questionable because how would she know how to use any of it or whatever? It's fine.